as well. Second in the nation in scoring. Ochai Raji of Kansas is the leading scorer in the nation entering play tonight. They are going to make Iowa settle for mid-range jumpers. That's exactly what happened on the first possession. A win for Western Michigan. Shot clock at two, gonna have to hurry. Norman has it taken away by Joe Toussaint. Toussaint will lob it up the floor. Here's Murray. Keegan Murray down the baseline with the reverse to get the Hawks on the board. 6'8", he's big bodied, but he can handle anywhere on the floor. The three for Murray, that's up and down and a 5-2 start for Iowa. Everybody knows where the ball is going and there's nothing to do. Yes, three to shoot. The dump to Hastings has to get rid of it back to Max Smith, and Smith beats the shot clock. On the shelf tonight with a lower body injury, second straight game he has missed. Here's Keegan Murray, who scored all five Iowa points. He scored all seven Iowa points. He'll have a chance for one more at the line. This team was third in the MAC in scoring defense a year ago as Murray slithers inside, gets his own miss, and he's into double figures with 10. Don't forget, he's chipping in at about nine and a half rebounds per game as well. As he speaks and shoots again, Keegan Murray has all 15 points for the Hawkeyes. Max Smith turning the corner against Murray, and Murray trying for his third block. Instead, Smith gets two. Good feet down low and a nice reverse along the baseline by Titus Wright. No question, they are guarding the ball, they are rebounding, they're keeping the dribble penetration out of the paint, and that's a good sign going forward. Keegan Murray's wrecked a lot of plans through the first yeah. now five games of this young basketball season <laughs> as his brother Chris will launch from deep and he will hit. 28-13 Iowa by 15 as we approach the six-minute mark. The step-back three for Perkins. It falls. Five made threes tonight for the Hawks. No one was sure how he would respond this year, but he's adapted very well, and he gets better every time I see him. So when you make those free throws, you can get into that defense, extend the court, and keep the ball in front of you. Oh, nice pass from Owen Lobsinger to Titus Wright into Big Ten play. That doesn't feel like something that would drop off when you get into conference play. Absolutely. Sanford, she is good good from deep. Nine for Sanford, 39-15. Hawks on a roll again from deep. Seven of ten from the three-point arc. The steal and the hammer for Tony Perkins. Here comes Murray on the attack. Got caught underneath. And the push now for Norman and Western Michigan to the 10, and Norman with two. Baseline the drive inside, looking for a foul. Didn't come for Joe Toussaint. The push up the floor. Ahead to Norman, three in transition. It falls for Lamar Norman Jr. The transfer from Duquesne has eight. I think he is a little more comfortable playing this up-tempo style, and that's just what you have to do for the good of your team. Sometimes you have to change up the way you play. Don't use the entire clock. You're down big. You've got to strike quickly and try to get back in this game. There's Rick Rocha. A nice move to get to the rim, and he lays it in. Not going to replace Luka Garza, but he's got to do his part. Take away. Two shots to the other end. Two more, and it's 49-20 Iowa. Rabracek getting it right back. Nope. Lost it again underneath an easy two for Lamar Norman Jr. Almost. Rebound Murray. Here's Keegan Murray against Marquise Hastings. Turns the corner. The runner in the lane rattles home. He's got 24. Sant to the rim for a two. And you can really see Jess Iowa taking advantage of the absence of the artist White, the normal ball handler for Western Michigan. Speed, the athletic ability of Iowa has overwhelmed the Broncos. And the start by Keegan Murray in the bench play. It's been an offensive point for the Hawkeyes. Tonight, only one foul and seven points to go with his five rebounds. He's had some solid moments. Yeah, no question. A very productive outing for these 18 minutes. 
save that rebound in place. Saves it for Western Michigan. Max yeah. Smith on the run. The finger roll good. And Max Smith into double figures with 10. Foreman with an open look from three. He's got 13 tonight. The rebound to Rebracha. Up ahead quickly. It's Bohannon weaving it to Murray. Tough catch. Tougher finish. But he makes it look easy. Well, Keegan Murray has blown expectations out of the water. I mean, he's obviously not just stepped up, but he stepped up in an All-American way and no longer a role player, but a Wooden Award candidate. Logo going to work. Toussaint to Rebracha. Three to shoot. Patience, and he finishes with the right-hand hook. Early in the game, they forced a few mid-range jumpers, but they're making the extra pass. Obviously, the fast break is flowing, but in the half-court offense, that extra pass, that swinging it from side to side, you can't drive the ball into the teeth of that pack line defense. you got to move it around to try to break it down. Bull handing in the corner, looking for three, and there's his first of the night. 12, Iowa steals nearly a 13th, but a five. It's almost like Luca Garza pulled us back, and Frank Garza and said, look, get in the gym by yourself, put in the time, and work on your skills. But work on those skills, and the Murray Twins have done that, and it's paid huge dividends for the Iowa basketball program. You know else, who else has worked on his skills is Tony Perkins. Yes. has tied his career high with 13 points. Working against Colt, back out it goes to Perkins. Now, Euless from the logo. That one drops, and Euless on the board. His first two. Frustrated, the COVID situation. He just got in the gym and got better. Look at him now. With this young team with so many new faces, and Coach McCaffrey told us a few weeks ago this is the first time he's ever had a team where everybody on the team had to take on a new role. 79-38. Hawkeyes career high for Tony Perkins. Lewis with the steal, leading it ahead in the one hand stuff for Peyton Sanford. The, the teams you can't play that defense against are got against teams who can shoot that mid-range jumper, like Joshua Langford, who's in the studio tonight. He's the type of guy who can just break a pack line defense because not only can he shoot the three, he can shoot the pull-up as well. Another career high for Keegan Murray. Seemingly every night he has one. There's his brother Chris on the drive. And that one rolls home. He's got nine. Continuing to put points up in bunches. They have all year long the nation's leading scoring offense coming in at 97.3 points per game. Chris Murray with the rebound. That's his sixth. Sanford wide open for three. That one falls. Sanford with 16 tonight. Malik McMillan was set, ready to shoot. And hit it from deep. Set ready to shoot on this end. And who else but Big Sanford? Maybe won't show up on the stat sheet. Nice little pass there. But he's got to have himself ready to go mentally and physically over the next couple weeks. Now. That's a good look in the corner for three. Keegan Murray with that mid-range game and his ability to stretch a defense should be a handful all season long. There's Chris. Norman trying to find room on the baseline. Pass tipped out to Etchison. Back it goes to Norman for three, and the open look falls. Norman's got 19 tonight. Hawkeye out running everybody to the other end of the floor. In transition, Austin Ashes three pinballs out. There's Mulvey again to clean it up and put Iowa at the century mark for the third time this year. I don't care what level you're at, whether it's high school, whether it's Division three, whether it's the Big Ten, if you're one of those guys who's only going to play a handful of minutes, Kevin, the best thing to think about coming in is the rebound. Tried the bank, wouldn't find the bottom of the net there, and to the other end comes Western Michigan. A little floater falls for Gus Etchison. Nowhere to go for Luke Laquetta. Ash from the elbow. And another rebound from Holby. That's five boards to go with his six points. Laquetta from deep, and he cans the three. 108 on the board against Alabama State, 107 up tonight against Western Michigan. And a two-hand stuff for Danny Culp for the Bronco. I just have them down for five turnovers in this game, and that's really been a trend over the last couple of years. And that's pretty special to be able to push the ball that hard and not turn the ball over. 
As you speak of it, they get their sixth turnover. That sixth yeah. turnover is great. Just settles tally to the other end. The two-hand stuff for Riley Mulvey. <laughs> That's right. Etchison, the fake, and the drive in to finish. He's got four. Shot clock will expire. And they will not worry about that shot clock expiring before the game clock. 109-61, the final.